Coming up this week on Beeman's Archer's Choice. Featuring North America's favorite hunting couple. This is the Archer's Choice. Oh, done. It's a little warm out here today to be wearing this. Warm. Welcome to the Archer's Choice. <laughs> this week is a very unique adventure. Can you help me get my arms down? Yeah. This week, we're gonna go up to Nunavut. Way, way, way up north, and actually we're going to Cambridge Bay to go hunt with Canada North. Yep, I mean, they, Jerome Knapp and Nunavut, they put this hunt Nunavut together tourism, for us. Nunavut tourism, yeah. They, they put this hunt together for us, which is incredible. You know, you, you talk about going on adventures, and some are really rare that you would probably never think you'd go on, but this has been a dream of mine just to see that country. And you talked me into it, which was amazing. And we are sitting here in some of the, gar the clothing that we wore, and it's about 85 degrees, and we are sweating our... Well, and, some of us are sweating higher, you know what's up. And, and, and thanks to, to our guys behind the cameras, they thought it'd be kind of fun to have us wear our garb that we wore while we're muskox. And look at their bow shaking, yes. See, see how they are around here? I think Anyways, Pete and repeat. Yeah, well, let, let's get rolling. We'll, st we'll start the show off and um, maybe we can get out of this stuff. I need to do something. Okay, let's, let's go. <laughs> Well, we are pumped and excited that we're going up on a muskox hunt with Jerome Knapp. And uh, Vicky just went online and found out, well, that, what's the temperature? It's minus 20. I, I told her it might be chilly. Yeah, well, look, look at what we got going on. Okay, here. we have our Cabela's down-filled long underwear. I put this on and then I put my outer garments for Mad Dog. I'm gonna look like the Marshmallow Man on Ghostbusters. We got our new, look at these boots. <laughs> Three inches of insulation on the bottom. We're gonna have our thermal feet in there. Three Pardon? inches? Three inches. If you were me, you'd be taller than me. We've got two sets of gloves. Our big insulated with our liners, and maybe our our good friends from Manitoba got us this. And I gotta show you this because this is awesome. Do you know why this pad is here on these gloves? <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> Russ will be so happy to have those back, Russ. Huh? Here, Russ. An absolute necessity when you're going to minus 25, 30 degrees below zero. Our heat factory. These are saviors. If you don't hunt with these now in the late season, especially up north, you are missing the boat. We got our thermal feet. We put our little foot warmers in there, and we're done. No electric socks. No nothing like that. We, we have the goggles because we are in severe conditions, and we're also bringing sunglasses. Cool, huh? See, that's what happened when you're going through in those snowflakes. That's what it's going to be like. So we're trying to get everything situated. And remember this, you also, you have to be under a certain weight limit. So I think it's 60 or 70 pounds complete. That's with our bows and everything. So we've got to get our Hoyt bows. We're actually putting them in padded cases. And then we're putting them in one Plano case. We're trying to bring both bows in one case, and they, you know, Plano makes that. We don't know what we're gonna exactly eat, so we're gonna bring some thumbs and be prepared for any situation. I'm bringing real tree jerky. Yeah, <laughs> we ain't sure what's happening, but we sure are pumped up on this hunt. And we hope you are too, because we're gonna share this very exciting, very freezing cold adventure. And if we make it back, it's gonna be even cooler. <laughs> I hope you don't get cold, she'll kill me. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. I'm dying. I got it. I know you are. You know, you guys saw so far what we've done. We, we've packed up and we got up to Cambridge Bay. But there was one other thing that we did to get prepared for our adventure. And Ralph, I don't know if you knew this, but we took this as we took no, his pants no. and shoved the ice down his pants, you know, so he could get prepared for that minus 28 degree. 
Oh, I have one left. Do you want that down your shirt? There you go. Okay, it's off into the freezing cold area of Cambridge Bay. Let's go see how it looks. Bye. Girl, what's the matter? Little cold, little windy? Hair blowing in your eyes? Can't handle it, huh? You're in a heap of trouble. Well, we're going to Arctic Island Lodge. We have 26 rooms with mask, phone, and cable TV. Meeting at meeting and holding facilities available, and all we really pray and hope for that it, it has heat. We'll see. You know, we've always said it before, we'll say it again, that, that we, we know we are blessed because this is such a unique and rare experience. And we want to share it with everybody because it just, well, I know for a fact that we'll probably never do this again. Vicki will not let me do this again. And if I do it again, it'll, it will not be with her, so. You're right. So I'm gonna enjoy this, this is pretty cool. This is camp for as many days as we need to be here. And I think we're all hoping not many. Let's go get them. Adventure. I don't think you need a refrigerator here. <laughs> not at all. Eggs? Oh. This is what you truly call a brick of cheese. Oh, look at that. You know, you, you know, we all look at for different adventures and different unique situations and things that we've never thought we'd do, and mm -hmm. this is one of those. And, and yeah. <laughs> uh, this is cool. It really is. Great. Well, don't you think so? I mean, it's, it's an adventure. That's what it is. This yeah. ain't luxury. <laughs> it's just something different. Yeah, gave you that idea. <laughs> I mean, every, you, every, you can, everyone can go deer hunting or something. I mean, this is something different. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Yeah. Let's check out Vicky now. Here's her chance, her time, to go through the freezing cold and show everybody that this girl can do it. It's cold out here. Go figure. Actually, it's not too bad riding in these things. It's kind of bouncy, but it's not really that, 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 that cold. That wind's starting to pick up, though. That's where we'll start getting cold. I think today was supposed to be minus 18. That's pretty chilly, but they keep telling us that it's a dry cold. You know, kind of like it's a dry heat down in Arizona. They're telling us it's a dry cold, so that minus 16 shouldn't bother us at all, except for when your nose hair starts freezing up on you. Um, we're riding around. We're, um, as a hunter, we have to ride in these sleds. And uh, we're looking, we're going out, we're riding, stopping, glassing trying to find us some muskox to go and try putting a stock up on, so. I wasn't sure what to expect when we were going up on this hunt. I knew it was going to be cold. The amazing thing is, is once you see those unbelievable hardy creatures out there in, the, in that Arctic, it's like a big old desert, and your heart starts pumping and your adrenaline starts pumping, and you're no longer cold. The coldness just totally evaporates. In fact, I was actually sweating, which would seem insane when it's minus 17 or something outside. But I did learn one thing also, is when you do draw back on a bull up there, make sure if you're using a kisser button, it does stick to your lip, it's metal. 
remember that one. Welcome back to the Archers. <coughs> oh, sorry, you can see how cold it was out there. Um, now it's time to get back to Vicky. She, let's see how close she can get to this animal and make it happen. Here's my probably one and only muskox because it is pretty cold up here. It um, was supposed to be minus 16, I think, today. But once your adrenaline starts pumping and you come across a big bowl like this, big old bowl, you know, you kind of start getting a little warm. Ralph was pretty nervous about us, about us coming up on this hunt. He thought I was going to shoot him. If I got cold, well, I can't shoot him anymore because how this is such a majestic animal. Big, fluffy, you, you can't even describe it on on video to tell you what this animal feels like. I mean, look at this hair. They tell me that this is an old bull. They tell me that it's probably about 18 years old. Look at this, look at the color in the, in the hair from his bosses. It goes gray, and then dark brown. And then look at this, this is just so thick. You can't even, you can't even dig in there. He is definitely one of God's majestic creatures. And I just want to thank Nunavut Tourism Canada North, uh, and of course the big guy. Thank you and thank you Ralph for talking me into coming up here and freezing to death. Friday was a snowstorm, you saw the footage. I take my bowl and it is snowing like crazy outside. Saturday, we were stuck inside the cabin all day long. The weather was too bad, the winds were too high. Sunday we woke up, it was a beautiful blue, blue skies. The only thing was it dropped even more and now it was minus 28 before we went out on Ralph's hunt. This is the third day out. Yesterday we were literally stormed in, I mean bad. You couldn't even, to step out, you needed to be dressed up with everything. And the winds were so bad, the snow and everything, um, that we ended up just staying in camp. Now today we had a good break in the weather. We're gonna see what happens. It's my turn now. We had a sled break, a snow machine breakdown, due to the severity of the cold weather. And we're just getting ready now. We got everything loaded. Vicky and I are going to actually sear a sled today. It could be a little warmer, wouldn't you think? It's about, uh, well, they said it, it's, it's about in the minus 20s today. So we'll see what happens. Well, it's definitely colder out today. If you saw Vicky's hair, it's all ice. She's gonna kill me, I know it. Um, the guys are talking, it's like probably in the 30s, minus 30s today. Uh, it's clear, that's why it's so much colder. We take breaks up on these high plateaus and we're glassing out. We actually just come across the ocean. And I hope you heard me right, we came across the ocean. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now let's see if Ralph can close the distance there on his muskox.
know, throughout our lives, you know, you have dreams and you have ideas or concepts or goals that you want to do. And, you know, we've been blessed to be able to do some of those. And we still have a lot more to go. And hopefully we can share them with you. But this is one of those adventures. Thanks to Canada North and, and you know, Nunavut Tourism, that we were able to, to go up there and see this country, see how vast it is. You know, it literally is a desert but a frozen desert, to see the wildlife, to witness the people and to share all that, and especially to share it with Vicki. And you, you know what's really cool is, you know, she threatened my life about a dozen and a half times that if she freezes, she's gonna kill me. But after she shoots her muskox, it sure did change. He's down. I can tell you that my hands are gone. Can't even feel him. You know, the, it is purely an adventure. One that you'll, you'll never ever forget about. As you saw, he actually charged us. But, uh, but it's amazing, <laughs> absolutely amazing to, to be out here and and experience this and freeze your you know what's off and wow whoa what can we say we're up here with Canada North up in Nunavik and you, yes it's it's extreme the temperatures are extreme the climate I mean everything about this is, is, is just incredible you know most of your life you dream of things and this absolutely is one of the dreams come true to be up here with your bow, our trusted old Hoyts, our Beemans, our Thunderhead XPs and everything. I mean, the, to have the right gear, the right clothing, and definitely the right guides, you can't ask for anything better. It's been an incredible adventure. And to share it with everybody and, and everyone back home, I want to dedicate this animal to my dad. You know, we lost him about a week ago. And Dad, I know you're watching this, so I love you. You're probably sitting there going, you're crazy, my son. It's incredible, absolutely incredible. What a magnificent animal. And it's cold. It is so cold. <laughs> Hey, get out of there. I got pans on underneath there. It's big enough. We could both fit in here, I think. Yeah, yeah no, baby. Forget about it. It's not going to happen. You know, that's how it goes. We want to thank Nunavut Tourism and Canada North. Yeah, absolutely. And Oliver Fisher. And Oliver Fisher for helping for us put all this together. All together. We had, a, we had an unbelievable adventure. It was cold, but we came home with two beautiful muskox. And, and, and this is the last of our 13 original shows. We start to rerun, you know. July through September. Yep. So, so don't think it's over, but... This is the last of the original shows, and we want to thank you, the viewers, because without you, none of this would be possible, as well as our sponsors. Right, we want to thank the sponsors, and now it's also time, that time of year again, come August, you go to theoutdoorchannel.com and vote for your fan favorite show. Thanks to all of you for watching and for Absolutely. voting for us. We won the 2005 Golden Moose. Yeah! Well, we're asking for you to do it again. Go, yeah, on, baby. go on the outdoorchannel.com and vote for your favorite show. It doesn't have to be us, but so that whatever show is your favorite, they get the recognition. But please for it. make it us. You're pathetic. <laughs> so we want you guys to return here again, same time. Same channel. Right here on the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. God bless you all. Amen.